Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. What did you do today? Do you want to know what I did? I'll tell you about my day. I got up about, oh, it must have been six o'clock and I started to work on my comments. Even though it was a really short video, it was less than a minute long. I don't even know, it was maybe 30 seconds long. I don't even know how long it was. It wasn't very long. But some days you just don't have anything that you can tell. Uh, but today, I have a little bit more I can talk about. What did I do? I was trying to figure out whether my little chick is a boy or a girl. Well, I've come to con the conclusion it's a boy. I don't know how I end up with so many roosters, but I think it's a boy. And then what did I do? Because, you know, now I've got a little boy and it's adorable. So I look to see if there's any videos out there that say a rooster can be a nice pet. Jim. <laughs> then I said I should make a little pouch and carry this little baby around with me. And he says, well, if that's what you want to do. But, you know, it's, they show, the thing is I want to do it when it gets a little bit bigger because right now it needs to eat and drink and sleep a lot. And it does like to be held. I was holding it in my hands and I kind of make like a cup and it pokes its head like out through and it's so cute. It likes to cuddle in there and then it, and it likes to lean up against you so your body heat is getting it. It's a doll. It's a little cutie. But, um... I did find a few, very few, very few videos that tell that a rooster is a good pet. Most of them say that hens are, are very, very good for house pets or pets. But not too many speak of roosters. Because chances are roosters, a lot of people can't have roosters because roosters crow. There was one that I watched where the rooster is like the ruler of the house. It wakes everybody up at 4 o'clock in the morning and makes sure that you wake up and you and it goes right into their room, I guess, and really crows. I know he won't be doing that for us. I will have him downstairs. I plan to, to try to keep him in the house because I can't put him outside with the other rooster. They would fight. Roosters are territorial, and so... If they're raised together, sometimes they're okay, and sometimes one of them is a little bit more bullyish, and so they will they will actually fight to the death, and you don't want that to happen. So I'm going to try to keep it in the house. I did call my daughter to see if I could get my little gate thing that I let her borrow for the babies. I want it back so I can put the little rooster outside and have it kind of corralled in it's it's a gate that you put together and make a big circle and you just you make it how you want it how big you want it and this way I can sit in there with it and let the little rooster climb on me and eat grass and scratch and I can pretend I'm scratching too because now I've got to teach it to do all the things that the mama hen would teach it to do and feeding it by hand is another thing that they suggest you do the more you handle it and the more you have it eat out of your hand the better it is with a hen it's a lot easier because they're a lot more docile to begin with whereas roosters this is hopefully this is a, a i think it's a buff orpington and a bantam and a leghorn mix i think it's it's got a lot of stuff in it so i'm hoping that the buff um the Orpington takes over for its personality because they're a very docile, very docile bird. And that's why a lot of times these other ones will pick on it because it is so gentle. Well, that is my chatter for today. It's a little bit longer than yesterday, but that's what my day looked like. It was just checking up and trying to figure out whether it's a boy or a girl. Is it a boy or is it a girl? Well, it ends up being a, I'm thinking it's a boy. And I will talk to you. I was going to tell you how I figured it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should have done that earlier in the video. But there's the different ways that they say you can you can um, check them. You can sex check them, which that's kind of hard. You'd have to really know what you're looking for. You can do the wings. And I tried that, and it looks like a boy's wing. It's got very tiny wings. And then you have one where if they if you kind of hold it by its collarbone neckish kind of thing, and if its legs go straight out 
and it doesn't wiggle a lot. It's a boy. And my brother said if you lay it on his back and he sticks his legs weight out, it's a boy. Well, guess what? He did all of the boy stuff. He was a boy. So I think it's a boy. So that's how I did it. Well, that's my video for today. Take care, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.